And now we're going to be talking about the the number one movie we were waiting to see to debut during the 50th 50th Super Bowl. That is Jason Bourne, in which I'm surprised that's the title. I thought it was going to be the Bourne something. I actually, but... I actually like that, that they did Jason Bourne. I actually personally like that. I just find it weird, but who knows? Jason Bourne could grow on me as a title as time goes on. But yeah, it's called Jason Bourne. And, you know, we have Matt Damon coming back. And, you know, because of what happened in the Bourne Ultimatum, after the events of the Bourne Ultimatum, we see that Matt Damon, he's been out pretty much hiding. We see that he is now found. We get a quick shot of Tommy Lee Jones, which is so cool. We see Julia Stiles, who is back it's gonna be cool to see julia styles come back and as we see all of these cool action scenes we hear talking to two you know jason bourne and then that's when the final shot is jason bourne punching down that yeah dude. hitting a mike tyson on that dude like <laughs> exactly so it's really cool and i'm glad paul greengrass who directed the second and third born films that he's gonna be back to be directing this and we have matt damon so i'm definitely looking forward to this kind of disappointed that they don't have Jeremy Renner from the Born Legacy to maybe collab, but hopefully if, you know, five works out, which I'm sure it will, they could hopefully have Jeremy Renner return for the sixth one. So who knows how the future could go on, but I'm definitely really excited for it. It looks filmed a lot differently, too, from the other Born films as well, because the Born films look more... You know, the cinematography is a little more different when it comes to Bourne films. This one seems to have a little more color to it, which I find interesting, to be honest. So not only does it look like it's filmed a lot differently from the other films, but it just looks like it's going to be awesome, just with great action, a great return to a great character like Jason Bourne. And yeah, I've been waiting for this, and I can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to see the full-length trailer whenever that comes up. Uh you know, this is actually maybe shocking to some people, but this was actually my favorite spot from the Super Bowl, if I'm going to be completely honest, because... No, I'm just joking with you. Oh, uh, that actually scared <laughs> me. But, um, but yeah, just that was awesome, that TV spot. It really, for something that was only 30 seconds long, and for someone that hasn't seen the Bourne films yet, which I will be watching later on and reviewing, check them out. But, um... It, it, just this was awesome it really was it looked it had my um heart racing honestly because it just looked intense and like with all the action pieces and when he hits the dude with the gun and then shoots dude it was just great and just the thing that made me freak out the most is when that police SWAT car just comes crashing through the um highway was just crazy so and then of course when Matt Damon gives boom the t Mike Tyson basically the Mike Tyson punch that dude was just incredible. So yeah, I'm excited for this movie. It looks great, and uh, yeah, this was I've seen this Super Bowl live at least like I don't know seven or eight times honestly ever since it came out because it's just so awesome. Hey there, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Super Bowl trailer review for Jason Bourne. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the Super Bowl spot for Jason Bourne. This is Tony, aka 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!